We've lost the lead. I got a bad feeling about this. to the Page S channel. My name is Page S and I gotta say I'm very very delighted to see that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today and I'm gonna try my best to entertain you along the way throughout this video because it's going to be a little bit of a long one but you probably are intrigued by the title Why Treyarch Failed Multiplayer of Black Ops 4 and that's very important to have a little disclaimer right there it's all about the multiplayer because i don't think black ops 4 is a failed game i think the blackout is absolutely fantastic a great new addition to the battle royale uh, out there and honestly with the perks and the smoothness of the engine of call of duty that mode is just fantastic same with zombies i am not a zombies player myself but my close friends say that is really good and i do believe them and based on what i've seen it looks fantastic so i think they knocked it out of the park with the zombies and a new blackout mode but remember call of duty has always been about the multiplayer and this time around they kind of disappointed and i think a lot of people do agree and in this video i just don't want to sit here and complain i also want to give direct feedback to what trail can do to make this game so much better because i'm not saying this is the worst multiplayer out there but they disappointed with it because we thought it was going to raise the bar from the other black ops games which it unfortunately really did not do i feel like it tries to be more than what it should be instead of choosing one path there's too much different things they added into it that does not work combined and i will explain that in this video so buckle up sit down relax and what i'm going to go over in today's video are specialists some of them are good some of them are terrible and i will go into depth why and how they can change them and i think you guys agree then we're going to talk about weapons and operator mods we're going to talk about score streaks we're going to talk about spawns time to kill and the healing system and finally we will talk about the lag servers and hit detection and of course we're also going to touch on the black market that's all the things we're going to talk about in today's video and let's just get right into it first of all specialists what is wrong with them they are literally in my way of telling you the best way to explain it they are free kill streaks do you remember if you played black ops 2 if you wanted a war machine you actually had to go on a kill streaks or do objective stuff to earn score to actually earn that without dying <laughs> that's not a thing anymore if you play black ops 4 all you got to do is to jump into a game and you will get that for free if you choose battery oh did you play call of duty ghost and you had to get five kills to earn a dog that goes around and kills people that really wasn't that powerful <laughs> don't even bother anymore because in black ops 4 use nomad earn the most powerful dog you've ever seen for free without doing anything and it will get a ton of kills for you and that's why i say that the specialists are free kill streaks because honestly they're easy to use they get you ton of kills even for the worst player if you choose the right one you can get so many kills throughout the match without getting a single kill when i played call of duty last night there was a guy that just started out the game and he had five kills in totals and he had 25 deaths and all of his kills i counted them was from the nomad dog that's the only kills he got so for a new player joining into black ops 4 is probably having a lot of fun but they really don't reward the players that has been loyal to call of duty for years and likes to be rewarded for being good me as a decent player in call of duty i feel like it's so hard for me to go on those nuclear streaks that i'm used to being able to do because all of these free kill streaks are out here that will always kill me and i cannot get away and that goes to my next point specialist works way better in jetpacking call of duties unless they changed a few things I will say today. But first of all, the reason why I say that is if you have a war machine coming at you, a dog coming at you, Ajax with a shield coming at you, being able to boost jump, wall run away is a way easy way to counter these powerful streaks. Like a war machine, if, he, if she fires tons of grenades at you, jump in the air and they will not hit you. As easy as that, in this game, take down your pants, turn around and let it come right at you because there's literally nothing you can do to stop them. And that's why I want to give some feedback to each specialist, what they could change with them, and 
how they can make it more like a skilled thing to use instead of a free kill streak. Because honestly, what I think specialists should be is something that rewards you for being good. Yes, they can be powerful, but you actually have to have some skill to use them. Oh, you want an example? The Annihilator. Yes, the Annihilator is a one-shot kill, but it has no aim assist and you actually have to be accurate to be rewarded. I think that's fine. Yes, it's more powerful than normal guns, but then again, it rewards you for being accurate and being able to hit your shots, because if you don't, you will be killed very quickly. I think that's a fine specialist weapon and how they should be. Let me give an example of one that is not the Nomad Dog. You don't have to do anything. You just whistle, it's out there, getting kills for free. So right now, we're going to go into each specialist, and I'm going to give my feedback to what I don't like about them and how they can change them, and I'm also going to give them some credit for the specialist that I do actually like. Number one. Ajax. This entire specialist is the most annoying thing in the game. The nine bang and the shield. Okay, let's start with the shield. What can we do to the shield that will make it not as powerful? The biggest mistake that I cannot believe they did with that thing is the fact that you have a shield in front of you, like a riot shield from older Call of Duties, but you can put your gun freaking through the shield and kill everyone, and nobody can do anything to you. Easy change, Treyarch, to fix this. If you want to shoot your machine pistol, you have to take your shield down so your head and part of your chest is exposed while you shoot over your shield. Simply as fixed as that, that means that you have to be smart and play tactical and know when to actually shoot your target and when to protect you. You will still be scary because you can walk around with that shield protecting your teammates behind you, but you can't shoot through the freaking thing. That is where it's broken. Nine bang, take it out. Seriously, give him something else, give him something from the older Call of Duties, like for example, Overdrive, Combat Focus, bring back these fan favorite abilities from Black Ops 3 that didn't hurt anyone, but gave you credit for being well with them. But no, they're probably not going to do that, so I at least nerf the hell out of that thing. When I get 9 bang, all I do is this, I have my arm in front of my face and I can't do shit, allow me to at least prone and let the thing don't last as long. And the other one thing, very important thing, is earn rate. Don't allow you to get freaking five nine bangs throughout a game of TDM. That's how horrible it is right now. Let the earn rate go significantly down so you don't get the nine bang maybe more than two times a game and that will help so much. Then I'm going to go to battery. Is there problems with battery? Absolutely. The war machine is way too powerful in a boots on the ground game. Easy fix, make the grenades not as powerful unless you direct hit them. If you direct hit an enemy, blow them up. If you don't, they are, they should be weak grenades. That's in my opinion, because that will reward the more accurate player instead of just getting you cheap kills with nades blowing up everywhere. Same thing with the cluster grenade. Don't allow it to turn into multiple nades. Let it be like a normal Semtex. If you stick somebody or stuck them, let them blow up. But if you don't, it's a normal grenade. It blows up one time. Easy as that. I honestly think that's the way it should be changed, but I don't think battery is the worst one, especially when it comes to the cluster grenade, but I would like to see that changed as well. Now, let's be a little bit positive right here. The best specialist, the newest addition to Black Ops 4 that I absolutely think is completely fine and that I love and adore and doesn't hurt anyone on the battlefield except for rewarding your teammates a little bit is Crash. Get ammo. If you pick up that ammo, you'll get more score per kill. Fantastic, as well as you can heal up your entire team with 50 extra health. Crash is a great addition to Black Ops 4. I think he's a great specialist. It's a supportive specialist. And specialists like this is what I would like to see more of. Uh, so honestly, Trek, I will give you credit for that character. Next one, Firebreak. Purifier, perfect. Honestly, you guys might disagree with me, but if you played Black Ops 3, the Purifier was insane. The range was insane. And if you just got hit by the Purifier or the Flame, you're dead instantly. In this game, you actually have to cook them a little bit, and the range is not even as close as far as in Black Ops 3. So honestly, I think the Purifier, they've actually sat down and they think, hey, we should probably change it a little bit because it's boots on the ground and they can't just fly away. And that's what they did. They actually went back and did some changes so it fits more to Black Ops 4. I don't think Purifier is a huge problem in this game, and it actually requires a little bit more skill than what it used to. It still could have been a little bit weaker, but I think it's perfect at the point where it's at right now because of the time to kill. But then the big idiotic thing comes around, the reactive core. I don't know who thought that was a good idea because that thing is literally better than the Purifier. 
crank that thing up, cook everybody around you. If they don't die by you and they get away, they can't heal for ages, so you're still gonna kill them easily. Fire break takes a little bit of damage, heal straight up, boom bang. Easy as that. Be in another room, next to the room with five enemies, cook that thing up, boom, kill all of them in that room. Terrible idea. What I think this thing should be is more of an objective type of gear or like ability that you have. And the way I will change it is as simply as this. When you use that thing, they will have that stun effect on enemies and they can't shoot and move that fast, but they don't take damage. That's what I don't like about it. But stun them completely so they have to move away. For, for, for example, let's see the B flag in Domination. You go behind a wall, you want all the enemies to go away from the flag, you crank that thing up and they get stunned and burned a little bit and then they will decide to move away because if your teammates comes around they will easily be able to kill them. But don't allow the reactive core to freaking kill people, it's way too powerful, it kills super fast and as well it al doesn't allow people to heal up for a very long time afterwards. Take that shit away, make it only a stun, and it's actually a useful, smart thing to use in objective game modes instead of being, once again, a free kill streak. Easy fix. Next thing, Recon. That's one of the specialists that I do don't have a big problem with. The sensor dart is fine, it's easy to destroy, you know when it's out, there's an audio cue. I don't hate that at all, but the Vision Pulse should not work for your teammates. I know Triarch, you wanted this game to be more team-based, but if your Recon guy gets Vision Pulse, call out to your teammates where they are. Oh, you, you're flashing it? Oh, I see a guy camping in the corner. Uh, guys, go and take that guy out. Don't allow the entire team to know where everybody is just because one guy is using Vision Pulse. Can you imagine going on a nuclear streak and then all of a sudden you know that the entire enemy team knows where you are at all time for a few seconds? Very, very, very... It's horrible, alright? It's really not fun for anyone and I would love to see that change. So only Recon gets the ability and he can call it out to his teammates, which makes it a team-based game. Way more balanced in my opinion, that's the changes I would have done to him, but I don't think Recon is the worst one. Let's take a look at Ruin. Grapple Gun, perfect. Cool, unique, new thing that we've not seen before that doesn't harm anyone, but it's super fun to use. A fun, unique, new equipment that I think is great in the game. Perfect job, Terrier. Credit for that. Gravity Slam, Gravity Spikes, once again, they're back. Way too easy to use, way too powerful, and honestly, I don't know how to change this really much. I think probably it shouldn't be as fast. Maybe you'd actually had to charge it a little bit before you could blow up. Because the fact that you can press two buttons, boom, everything is out, is kind of dumb. I think that if you did that, if you press the button and release them straight away, it will just be a little small explosion around him. If you really want to kill everybody around a big area, you have to charge it a little bit. So basically, be completely vulnerable, standing there, charging it up, back up in the air, and then boom. You kill everybody around if you're able to actually stay alive enough to make it go off in the worst way. If you just click it right away, boom, it's just gonna kill or damage people really close to you. Easy fix, in my opinion, that would make it a lot more skilled than just a free kill streak. Seraph, I don't have any problems with Seraph. I think the Annihilator is the perfect way of making a specialist weapon a little bit more skilled, and I think you should be rewarded if you're good with that. That's fine. I don't look at that as much as a free kill streak. But the spawn beacon, Treyarch, what the heck? I'm gonna bring that back with the spawns, but that screws up the game so much. The spawns already are terrible in this game, but the spawn beacon make people turn up everywhere and ruin your streak, and it's just terrible. The spawn beacon is a super dumb idea. I would love to see that just go away, change it in with like overdrive, combat focus, something like that. I, I just want to see that thing gone. I think it was a dumb idea, and I don't think you really thought of how badly that thing can be abused. Not a fan of that at all. Uh, then we have Torque. Once again, this is not a specialist that I have a lot of problems with. I think all of his abilities are fine, but I think the earn rate should be increased a little bit. Because once, after a few minutes in a game, there's barbed wires and these walls everywhere. But honestly, I don't look at them as the worst thing. Yes, they are annoying, but it's more of a strategic way, and it works. It really closes down lanes to enemy just, oh shit, I'm not going to spend time shooting this thing down. I'm going to go around. And that's the purpose of a barbed wire. Yes, I know players it's annoying you can hate on it but at least it does its purpose and it doesn't really kill you unless you're very dumb and go into the microwave thing or just stay in the freaking barbed wire trying to run through it it's not gonna work okay just go around or kill that thing away 
And that's how simple you can do it, but you actually have to take the time to do it. And I think Torque is actually a pretty good specialist. And I don't have any problems with him. I think it's fine. Maybe just increase the earn rate a little bit. Then we have, ladies and gentlemen, probably the worst specialist in the game, if not Ajax, and that is Nomad. Mesh Mines, goddamn awful, annoying, and the dog. This is the one I have a hard time giving feedback to, because I honestly don't know what to do. First of all, I think the dog is way too powerful, but if you really make it weak, it will be a waste. But at the same time, it should be a waste, because it's free. It shouldn't be that good as it is right now. Uh, so I really don't know what to do with that. I think the dog shouldn't be powerful at all. I actually miss the old Nomad, like literally make him the old one instead, where you shoot out these mines, and if people go on them, there's a ton of bugs that kills you, but if you die, they will disappear. Same thing with mesh mines. Easy thing to fix them for not being as annoying. If you take out your mesh mines and you die, they die with you. Don't allow the freaking mesh mine to be on the map for the entire time, even after you're dead. In search and destroy, that's fine, because there's no respawn, but in respawn game modes, if you die, your mesh mines is gone. Yes, I do see the argument that this is going to be more camping, because when a nomad actually uses mesh mines, he's gonna camp more, because you know when he's dead, the mesh mines is useful, no useless, because they're gonna disappear. I see that argument, but I still would rather prefer that than having nomads. Because he's gonna earn that thing like five times throughout a match, so there will be five different areas that's been covered with mesh mines, and trust me, you will die from them. I'll rather have them camp their ass off, because they don't want to die to lose it, than actually having a ton of them all over the map, even if they die. Once again, free kill streaks. Next one is probably one of my favorite specialists in the game, and that is Prophet. Returning once again from Black Ops 3, and this guy they've changed a little bit. He kind of has a sniper now that if you hit them, they get stunned, and you gotta hit them again, and they will be completely dead, and it can chain other enemies as well. Not my, I don't hate this thing, it's fine, it requires a little bit more skill than the really easy ones. But what I honestly would like to see is it be a little bit more like in Black Ops 3. It can kind of be a sniper, if you hit them, just like the Annihilator, they die instantly, but it doesn't chain to anyone. I think that's a better change, but then again, it's kind of fun and satisfying how it is right now, and it's not the worst one. But, the ability that he has, that freaking electric car, that thing is so freaking annoying. I die from that all the time, and yes, you can press square a lot, and then you take out the cable, and you're free, but within the time you've been able to do that, you're already dead, because profits out there follow their freaking drone like nothing else. When they throw that out, they just run after that thing, because they want that one easy kill. And they know they gotta be quick, because people are actually really good at taking that thing away now, because they're used to it, so that's why Prophets will be right behind it, so he will make sure that the two seconds you cannot do anything while you're taking out that cord, you will be killed instantly. Take away that drone completely, add shock charges. Do you remember that from Black Ops 2? I think they were in Black Ops 3 as well. Those small little sticks that you can throw to the wall, and if people go next to them, they get stunned for a little second, and that's it. Change them out for that. Make the shock charges return that we know and some people love. It will be easier for snipers. If people go on them, you will have them at least not moving as fast for a while. They can still shoot and aim, but they're stunned and they can't move that fast. Other than that, if they would have done these changes, the specialist wouldn't be as annoying at all. I think the hardest one to change is Nomad, because you literally have to completely change out his gear or change them drastically. As I said with Ajax, easy fix. Make the nine bangs less effective, and when you shoot, you have to take your shield down. Super easy to fix, and I would love to see this coming. And then again, I just want to touch on, there's so much recycled content in this game. I know people love the remastered maps, but then again, it's maps that were getting returned from older older games. I'm not super happy about that. I would rather see new maps than these tons of remakes. It's really easy for Trek to just pump out these remakes all the time. I am not a huge fan of that at all, honestly, and now they're gonna bring more of them just in nighttime, in daylight, or like, they're giving us more of the same maps just in different settings, which I think is super lazy. Not a fan of that, I'd rather have new maps with the Black Ops Pass. Please give us some new stuff, not the same recycled thing just in daylight, or nighttime, or rain, or whatever. I'm not a fan of that at all. Another thing, not only is the maps recycled, we have weapons and we have freaking specialists as well. Like, this literally feels like Black Ops 3 again without boost jumping. 
Uh, and I do like Black Ops 3, and it, some of the specialists are cool to see back, but when the weapons, like the ICR, for example, are almost identical to Black Ops 3, that's when I feel like it's a little bit lazy. I know this game is supposed to be between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, but you could add some new stuff instead, right? And instead add the fan-favorite guns here and there so people will be satisfied. But honestly, I'm one of those guys that want to see new stuff instead of recycling the old. I just wanted to touch on that as well. I don't know what you guys think about that. But hey, we're done with specialists. I do know this video is going to be a little bit long, but I do want to cover everything in this video so you know my standpoint on it and watch until the end so you'll know what I think and then let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree or what you would like to add. Next thing, weapons and operator mods. About the weapons, I feel like the SMGs are underperforming. I'm not going to go too much into detail about that, but I think we all know it. If you are rocking an SMG, you better be in close quarters like a shotgun, like shotgun range, or you're screwed pretty much. Some of them are good, uh, and but most of them really don't perform in medium range, which I think is sad. The assault rifles and LMGs are really the dominating weapons in this game. SMGs really doesn't have too much love, and I would like to see them as they were back in the beta 1, where they actually performed pretty well in close range. Uh, and then we have the operator mods, which some of them are cool. And let me just give an example. The operator mods are great when they don't become overpowered. A great example, the Cordite. It gives you 600 ammo, you never have to reload, but if you shoot too much, it will overheat. Perfect operator mod, right there. Great job, Treyarch. The bad ones, the full auto, no, the semi-automatic shotgun with the freaking light, the flashlight, so you can't see shit. Terrible. The Titan, which shakes up your entire screen when you're shooting at it. Terrible. I don't like it. And probably one of the most annoying ones, in my opinion, is the wildfire for the Spitfire. Because it's insane. If you come in close range against a guy using wildfire on his Spitfire, I know it's hard to swallow that, but you're dead. There's nothing you can do. That thing is so powerful. And with a little bit more skilled players, that thing is just way, way too insane. It kills so fast. It literally feels like I'm playing Call of Duty Ghost when I use that thing. That's how fast you kill. So I feel like the Operator mod just makes the Spitfire way too good. And you just know if you come in close range, just... Just give up. Throw your gun away, take down your pants, start pissing yourself because you're dead anyway. Uh, I'm not a fan of the really overpowered operator mods, but some of them are good. And, and I like the changes like the Cordite, for example. I think that's the best, best example of a operator mod that actually makes sense, to be honest. Then we come to the score streaks, ladies and gentlemen, and that's probably what has disappointed me the most, because they're way too hard to earn. You gotta get six kills in TDM to earn a freaking UAV. Back in the days, that was three kills. In this game, it's six. And the kill streaks in this game really aren't that powerful. They're way too easy to shoot down, and that's the problem. Th that's it, literally. Like, the streaks are way too hard to get. And when you get them, it's so easy to shoot them down. Like 13 kills for a chopper that people can shoot two or three rockets at to shoot down. It's ridiculous. I do not accept that. Yes, you can use the comsec device, but then you can't pretty much heal fast. And that's dumb as well. So I'm not a fan of that. And we also, I can't, I'm saying it so many times, but where is the freaking hater? If this game is supposed to be between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, every single Black Ops game has had a hater. Blackbird, Orbital VSAT, and The Hater, Black Ops 4, nothing. I don't accept that. And don't give me an excuse that Recon is kind of the new hater. No, that's bullshit, and I don't want to see that. Give the good players a reason to play the game and reward them. I don't want free kill streaks. I want The Hater. Let it be 15 kills if you want to. I don't care. Let it be expensive, but let me have that thing and don't let the enemy team shoot it down in three freaking rockets. That's pretty much it for the kill streaks, honestly. Some of them are really good, like the chopper, the strike team. I would rather see the raps or the dogs, honestly. But then again, let the kill streaks be really powerful and let the free streaks be more skill let, like let the specialists be rewarding if you're good not as a free kill streak that is way better than the kill streaks we actually have that you have to get a ton of kills or do well to get it's just the wrong way reward the players of being good instead of rewarding players just to picking up the game time to kill ladies and gentlemen i don't know about this thing some people hate it some people don't i 
um, I am okay with it, but the problem is the way it works. Because if you don't use stim shot, you're such in a disadvantage. Because the time, like if you get shot, you heal the normal way. It takes long until your health is all the way back. And if you get shot again, the cooldown is so long before you can heal again. Stim shot is perfect. I think stim shot literally should have been the default way to heal because it makes rushy players actually being able to play. If you want to move around and be rushy, you have to use stim shot or you're gonna die. Because if you push out in gunfights all the time with a normal heal, you're dead instantly. Have you played Nuketown? Can you play Nuketown without stim shot? Well, of course, if you sit in the window with an LMG camping your ass off, if you're one of those guys, yeah, sure, you could probably use something else, but get out of my channel. Get out. I don't want to have you here. Get out. Right? Mm, that's what I do to you. Mm, get out of my channel. I don't want people like that. Honestly, I'm just messing around. If that's the way you want to play, do it. I get it. It's easy ways for people to get kills and get streaks. If you suck at a game, I see why people do it. It makes sense, but it's super annoying for us decent players. But that's his Call of Duty, man. It's always going to be there. It's fine. But then again, the healing system doesn't work really good, in my opinion. I have to use Steam Shot if I want to have a chance rushing in this game. And I feel like if you use the normal heal, it's going to slow down your gameplay so much and honestly promote head glitching and camping even more. I think the normal default heal should be way faster. Not healing you up faster, maybe, but the cooldown timer shouldn't be as long. That's the easiest way to fix it, because Steam Shot can give you full health automatically, for example, while the normal heal will take some time, but you can use it often. That will be way more balanced, in my opinion, and then I wouldn't have a big problem with the new time to kill, because if I only have 50 health and still can't heal, I have no chance running up to a guy with 150 health. In older Call of Duty, if I got shot a little bit, you killed so fast anyway that I would be able to win gunfights around the corner, even though my health wasn't regen automatically quite yet. But in this game, it's not going to work you have to be very lucky if they're not going to land a shot at you unfortunately so that's my problems with the time to kill let me know what you think in the comment section then we have lag servers and hit detection and this is something Treyarch never has really been really good with and a good example is Black Ops 2. The reason I really didn't enjoy Black Ops 2 is because in the beginning, the servers really weren't that good. Like, the hit detection and the time to kill sometimes was so weird. And you even see it in this game. Like, sometimes my shots are not getting registered at all, and all of a sudden I'm dead. And people who are lagging in this game has such an advantage. I wish I had terrible internet, because people can't hit me and I'll just kill you instead. So... I don't know, I'm not a technician, I don't know how the servers work, I don't know if it's 60 hertz now or not, but honestly, the hit detection and the time to kill with lag just doesn't make it better. And when Treyarch already should know that they are not the best developer when it comes to hit detection and smoothness, they're probably the only developers that have been struggling with that the most, at least in my opinion, like Infinity Ward has way smoother hit detection, but then again, you kill way faster in those games. Now that you add the time to kill with more shots, it's going to be so much more noticeable when the game isn't quite right. Because I can play some games where I feel like the SMGs actually are pretty good. And then I play another game where I feel like I'm just melting all my bullets. I'm shooting a marshmallows and nobody's dying. And you can tell so easily when you have a worse connection to the game. Which... I just, I, I really don't like. Then we're going to talk about Black Market. That's the final thing I want to touch on. I'm not going to go very much into detail about it. I think, generally, it's a fine way to do it with the contracts and all of that. And they need to earn money. I get it. But the scummy thing they did with the newest variants that already were in the game for some people or exclusively if you pre-ordered from GameStop or they just gave it out like they pretty much screwed up there and then they make us pay for it now and the people that actually pre-ordered through GameStop doesn't have any exclusive items anymore because now everybody pretty much can have it. And honestly, I do really regret that I bought that bundle because after I saw what people were thinking about it, I thought about it myself and honestly, I do agree. It's pretty cheap that they add stuff that was already in the game. They messed up. They should have allowed us to have that Cobra variant of the Maddox, but they did what they did and they need to earn money and I get it. And the thing is, you don't have to buy these things. It's only cosmetics and we should be happy about that. What I'm really afraid of is when new weapons comes around, if they're going to be bought through the store, that is literally paid to win or at least paid to play. I don't want to see that. New guns have to be free. Cosmetics I don't care. If you want them to be expensive, that's fine, because it's only the way you look. I don't know why we get so mad about this, because honestly, it doesn't change anything than the look of your gun. Yeah, a little bit of the 
iron sight on some guns maybe it will make it a little bit better but then again it doesn't really change the stats of the gun at all and if you do want to spend money on stuff like that you can and i think that's a fine business model i think this is way better than like black ops 3 so even though it's not as exciting because there's so much shit you can get in the like the tiers and all of that but i like this system more so i can buy exactly what i want i do have to say that and as long as it stay cosmetics only i don't have a problem but the moment they add weapons that you have to pay to get that's a mistake because we already play paid a hundred dollars for this game if you have black ops pass as well so don't make us pay for things that should actually be in the game cut content that should have been in the game but you take it away to earn more money signature weapons camos all of that fine by me if you want that to be paid fine i would pay for it if it's cool and that's a fine way to do it but new guns and new things that people can use in game should not be behind paywalls at least that's what i think and i hope activision and treyarch knows that that will create so much hate from the community and they are smart enough to know that that's not worth the money that's everything that i wanted to cover in this game and the problem is there's a lot of recycled content the specialists are way too easy to use this game doesn't reward solo players if you don't play with a team you're gonna be smacked all over the place uh and free kill streak spawns are terrible and the new abilities make it even worse time to kill doesn't quite work with the healing lag in the servers and of course the black market operator mods smgs underperforming that's everything summed it all up and i know this video came uh to be pretty long but i do hope you did enjoy it because i wanted to cover everything in this video so i don't have to talk about it again and i hope it was useful for you in some way and then again black ops 4 is a lot of fun and if these changes that i've talked about today which is actually not that hard to do if they change the game with the things i've said right now i potentially think this multiplayer can be one of the best out there but there's so many things they have to do to being able to accomplish that right now it's a 5 out of 10 out of me it's okay i enjoy it it's a fun game but there's just too much annoying stuff so most of the time like 9 out of 10 matches i'm frustrated and 1 out of 10 i sometimes do well and actually I really enjoy it especially if i play solo most of the time if you play solo in this game you will not enjoy it unfortunately especially in multiplayer of course blackout zombies thumbs up do some changes to multiplayer and I will be very happy. Use this video if you want Treyarch. And I think most of the community will agree with this video as well. And if you do, guys, drop a like on this video. Let me know in the comment section if you agree, disagree, or what you think. And let's get this out to Treyarch because they have so much potential in this game. But they do need a ton of changes. And I think this video can help them a lot. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I know this was a long video. If you're still watching until this point, you're absolutely fantastic. Leave hashtag Black Ops 4 in the comment section so I know that you are a true supporter and still watching. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. My name is Pejas. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you guys in a new video or stream. Goodbye, guys.